Glory to Ukraine! Glory to the heroes! Look, here is Shevchenko! Balaklia in the Kharkiv region after six months of occupation by the Russian army have returned under the control of Ukraine. <laughs> Guys, well done! Everything is good, thanks God! We have pancakes, everything is well! After six months of the Russian world, Balaklia is hardly recognizable. Earlier, 28,000 people lived here. Now, a third is left. The majority is elderly people. Houses and roads are destroyed. There is no water, gas, electricity. But there is a prison that Russian army has equipped for local residents. Here, they beat and tortured people. Don't go over the barrier. But for almost a month Balaklia has been under the Ukrainian flag and the city is coming back to life. It became easier. The main thing is that nothing came from the sky. First of all, humanitarian aid was delivered. There is a line for groceries. Give me, give me. I'm with a stick. According to local residents, some ATMs, a cafe, a pharmacy and several shops have already started operating in the city. Electricity, water supply and mobile communications are being resumed. With gas the situation is more complicated. After all, the Russian military left a lot of mined areas with communications. Despite this, people began to return to Balaklia. Direct trains from Kharkiv are already running. The payment of pensions have also been resumed. For this purpose, the state has allocated almost 4 billion hryvnas to the Kharkiv region. And this is Izum, the mass graves that appeared here during the Russian occupation shocked the whole world. According to local authorities, more than a thousand civilians were killed in Izum. Some of them were tortured by the Russian military. After examining some of them, we found signs of torture. Some of them had their hands tied behind their backs. There are people with stab wounds. The Russian occupiers destroyed all the hospitals in Izum. Therefore, the mobile hospital was one of the first to appear in the city after the deoccupation. Hundreds of people come here for help every day. The city already has internet. Power has not yet been restored. During the retreat, the Russians mined power transmission pylons. Food was also brought to Izum. For months, even bread was not seen here. What is missing the most right now? A bread. People stand in line for bread and humanitarian aid in Liman. This is the Donetsk region. We want it to be better, to end the war, to be as before, for shops to work, for hospitals to work. Everything is broken, everything is looted. In Liman, the restoration of infrastructure began immediately after the deoccupation. One of the priorities is preparation for the heating season. Here they have already begun to repair houses and prepare firewood. The city receives the first pensions and letters. Ukrainian Postal Service opened its office. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian army is returning cities in the south to its control. Glory to Ukraine! Humanitarian aid is already being delivered to the settlements liberated from the Russian military in the Kherson region. The counteroffensive of the Ukrainian army continues, and in all the territories occupied by Russia, Ukrainians are waiting for liberation. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.